Uh, Mateo, you've been part of a group of graduate students that has done uh, research on walkability in Johnson City. And I'd like you to tell us a little bit about what you did, how you did it, and what some of the findings were. Sure. Um, well, we did, uh, we went out to Johnson City. We uh, measured the walkability of the streets in the areas between the BU Health Sciences campus and the Main Street. We felt that this was a really important area to document because one of the main goals of JC Redevelopment is to uh, reinvigorate the Main Street Corridor. And a lot of the Main Street Corridor is going to depend on the patronage of the students from the BU Health Sciences campus. So for, for that reason, we decided to measure accessibility, safety, and attractiveness of the streets in that area. So to do that, we looked at uh, the conditions or existences of the sidewalks, crosswalks, the existing housing stock, as well as the street vegetation. So for today, I want to talk about the crosswalks. So for the crosswalks, we decided that a crosswalk should be a safe area to cross naturally. Um, but secondly, it should also make drivers aware that there could potentially be someone crossing the street. And thirdly, um, and just as important, it should uh, enhance accessibility for people of all physical abilities. So. Um, when we were, were surveying these crosswalks, we looked for the stripe paint, we looked at the ramps, we looked at the tactile warning pads, we looked at audible um, warning signs, uh, but also traffic lights, stop lights. Um, but based on this aforementioned uh, criteria, each one was assigned a value and was put into as, uh, an index from zero to five. And this rated the areas that were um, that were potential hazards and were um, and then others that were more walkable in terms of the crosswalks so uh, we found that most of the crosswalks in uh, in good conditions were located on the Main Street corridor um, as well as the western section of the study area on the eastern side it was a little bit more concerning um, we did acknowledge that with the development of the BU Health Sciences campus, this was something that could change. Here is an image of a crosswalk on Willow and Corliss, take, uh, taken back in April, and here it is in October. So here's an example of how the BU Health Sciences campus can change the crosswalks. So if you look at the April image versus the October image, you see the additions and improvements of the ADA compliant ramps as well as the tactile warning pads and the stripe paint.